Okay, the construction that we're going to do now is called the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. This is one of the most important constructions that we learn because it's used in a number of other constructions that are more complicated. We haven't talked about it explicitly in this class yet, but uh, the term perpendicular bisector really describes what it is. Perpendicular meaning it forms right angles, so the, the segment that we create is going to be perpendicular to, to segment AB. And since it's a bisector, then we know it's going to split AB into two equal parts. It's a pretty simple construction, but again, very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the point of my compass on point A, and I'm going to open my compass to an arbitrary distance, doesn't matter, as long as it's more than halfway across the segment. That's the only rule. It needs to be more than halfway across the segment. Once I have done that, I'm going to create an arc above and an arc below my line segment. Without changing my compass, I'm going to flip it around, put the point of the compass on B, and I'm going to create the same two arcs above and below. I didn't do a very good job with this one. I'm going to work on that. There we go. And now I've got two intersection points. I've got an intersection point here, and I have an intersection point here. If I connect those two points of intersection, then I have constructed the perpendicular bisector. So what do I know? Let's call this point E. I now know two things. I know that all four of these angles are right angles. And I know that AE is congruent to EB because it's a bisector.